First on Fox 21, a semi truck driver is dead and I 25 is still closed in both directions just north of Pueblo following a train derailment yesterday afternoon. It happened on a bridge over I 25 near mile markers 106 and 107. Today, the Pueblo County coroner identified the truck driver as 60 year old La Follette Henderson from Compton, California. A coroner investigator pronounced him dead on scene and a full autopsy is scheduled. Fox 21's Austin Sack headed to the side of the derailment to get the latest on the progress made. Colorado State Patrol says both directions of I-25 near Pueblo would be closed for an extended period of time due to this 12 train car derailment. As you can see behind me, this is still a very active scene, even with crews working overnight Sunday. Now we often hear coal and other debris shifting. The National Transportation Safety Board has launched its investigation as crews will continue to work in the days to come to figure out exactly what happened here to come down on the interstate. Um, this, this is a first for me and, and uh, in my career to see uh, this magnitude. Major Brian Lyons with the Colorado State Patrol says crews are working around the clock as an investigation gets underway. That will be part of what they're going to look at is the history of this overpass and uh, to kind of go through that to see what they have on their re those records. The National Transportation Safety Board is investigating the Burlington Northern Santa Fe Railroad train after a total of 12 train cars transporting coal derailed. And it's sad to report that there is one confirmed fatality. CSP tells us a driver of the semi truck died on scene and was the only vehicle known to be trapped. It'll be an extended time period before cleanup again. Begins, NTSF requests that the debris remains where it is until investigators have the chance to survey it. We want to make sure that we do due diligence to make sure that the, that investigation is thoroughly conducted. Biden says there is no estimated time when the interstate north of Pueblo will be open, but detours are in place. But that's one of the key things that they will look at once they start their investigation is to see exactly what and how much of that northbound structure came down on the interstate and then how much of the uh, pillars and other in integral pieces uh, are, are damaged. So they can look at that to shore it up so we can get everything cleaned up and then uh, get the interstate back open. Pueblo County Sheriff's Office advises Colorado drivers heading south to exit 135 to Highway 115 as an alternate route. As always, follow Fox 21 for your continuous updates. Reporting in Pueblo County, I'm Austin Sack, Fox 21 News.